So Clutch Points posted an article about two players the Cincinnati Bengals should trade for. And normally when I see trade and anything with the Bengals, I instantly turn off my computer and I go to sleep. Because I know it's going to be about T. Higgins. And I just am tired of it. I am tired of nonstop hearing about why we should trade away T. Higgins. T. Higgins should be traded for this. You should trade T for this. It's never going to happen, but it's just constantly talked about because that's the only thing to talk about when it comes to the Bengals, it seems like. Well, Clutch Points, to their credit, did a good job here. This is not about T. Higgins. This is about two players that they could add to their offense to actually help out Joe Burrow. And I, I'm 100% for it. And the first player, okay? Can you guess it? Can you, can, can, can you guess Mr. Krabs? It's my JP Ryan. <laughs> They believe the first guy we should trade for is bring back Samaj P. Ryan. And listen, the fact that we brought back this offseason, Von Bell had a chance to bring back Hayden Hurst, decided not to, even though he wanted to come back. But we decided not to bring back Hayden Hurst. But we brought back Samaj P. Ryan. I'm sorry, we brought back Von Bell. Not Samaj P. Ryan yet. But yes, on Samaj P. Ryan here. And this makes perfect sense. Right now, the Broncos are in a very weird period. They're like in a kind of a mini rebuild, right? They just got Bo Nix at quarterback, trade away Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton might get traded away, Patrick Sertain most likely won't be traded away, but they could also trade away some other pieces as well. They know this season they're going to be really bad. They're going to probably have a five-win season. So... Why not, if you're the Broncos here, trade away a running back who's a little bit up there in age, and you can potentially get back, you know, a seventh round draft pick. And in reality, we could even trade our seventh for their seventh and kind of swap a roo with that, right? So there's really no reason if you're the Broncos not trade away some AJ P. Ryan. It's not like he's young. It's not like he's the future of your team. He's only a certain amount of years left. Now, of course, he most likely wants to stay in Denver because it's closer to his family. But if you're Denver and you're not caring about any of that and you're just looking at what's best for your team, there's like no reason why they shouldn't trade away Samaje and move on from him and try to kind of get younger at the running back position. Because they have a couple running backs that are younger and have potential to be really good on their roster. So, that's number one. And I completely agree with Clutch Points. I think, honestly, this type of trade is, you know, we just trade and we give up a seventh, they get a seventh, whatever. Is there a potential he gets cut before the season starts? I highly doubt it. Um, it would really have to be preseason just looks so good for the other players on their roster at the running back position. And that's really what ends up happening. It wouldn't surprise me with Sean Payton. Because I feel like Sean Payton just really wants to get rid of everything that it was from Nathiel uh, Hackett. I believe Samaj P. Ryan, though, was not Nathiel Hackett. He might have been. I'm not exactly sure. But he wants to get rid of everything from the old team, pretty much. And wants to rebuild and build himself his own superstar squad. So it's very possible if, you know, a couple of rookies look really good. And he thinks, hey, listen, those rookies look a little bit better than Samaje. Well, they might end up cutting Samaje p Ryan. So he might end up back on our roster through just that simple fact. Because if he hits free agency, I don't think too many teams are going to be interested in signing him. When you have players like Kareem Hunt still on free agency right now, I don't really see too much... When it comes to people being interested in Samaj P. Ryan. So Samaj is number one. And I think again like I said I agree with this. I think it's a great idea. Bring him back. If anything have him compete with Chris Evans and uh, Travion Williams. And not even that in all honesty. Because this season you know Travion he's great on special teams. He's a good pass blocker. He's also a good you know third fourth down running back. But at the end of the day, Travion Williams, his best thing is special teams. I would keep Travion to purely be a special team guy 
and just get someone else who could be that third running back for us, right? That's where Samaj P. Rock could come back and be very good. He's great in pass blocking. He's great at catching the ball. He's great at running the ball. He has everything we need. The only problem here is, you know, him being far away from his family. And that's really what it would come down to. Um, so, from our side, I don't think there's any reason why we wouldn't do this. But from to honor his best wishes, I'm not sure how it would work out. Um, second guy is Greg Dorchich. Dorch. This is not the guy I'm talking about. Um, that That is definitely not the guy. Dorchich is the guy I'm talking about. This is Greg Dorch, who is a um, very great player, but not the guy we want. Yeah, th this guy. Now, I disagree with this greatly. <laughs> I am completely against the idea of trading for Greg here. Listen, okay, last offseason, we didn't really know how our tight end group would look. But we knew it would be Irv Smith, most likely Mitchell Wilcox, and most likely Drew Sample. And then randomly, we picked up a guy from the 49ers press squad named Tanner Hudson. And it was kind of ups and downs. Some people say, hey, we should have him on the active roster. Some people said we shouldn't. Okay? And he ended up making the active roster in the end, not right away. Actually, he didn't really make the active roster. He got he got put up to the active roster from the practice squad. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. And he ended up really showing off and showing how good he was, right? So a guy that we didn't expect to be that good ended up being that good. But we also didn't have a plentiful group of tight ends that we really were, you know, excited about last season. This season, we have a lot, and I mean a lot of options. Not only do we have the typical Mike Gesicki, we also have um, Drew Sample. We also have Eric All, Tanner McLaughlin, Tanner Hudson as well. Um, who am I missing? Drew Sample. I think that's actually it when it comes to the initial. We have what? Uh, Mike... Drew, and obviously Drew most likely goes to fullback, in all honesty. Tanner McLaughlin, who ends up, you know, reality wise, let's say, let's say Drew goes to fullback, okay? So then we have Mike, Drew, Tanner, Tanner. That's four tight ends right there, okay? And then if we went ahead and picked up Greg, he would be competing with that fifth tight end spot between a couple different options that we picked up undrafted free agents. And I don't think we're going to carry five tight ends on this active roster. If we don't move Drew to fullback, it's very possible that Tanner McLaughlin ends up being a practice squad guy. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think we should trade for Greg. Um, I'm sure he's great. He was actually a Seattle Seahawk for the longest time, I believe. Uh, actually, no, he no, he was always on the Broncos. Oh, you know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about Will Diddley. That's what I'm thinking about when it comes to the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, but again, he's young. He has a lot of potential. He was a third-round draft pick. I don't think we need another tight end. <laughs> I think that's something that we can uh, kind of live without, okay? you want, If you want to say, hey, trade for an offensive lineman, Sure. Trade for all the linemen you want. Collect them like they're Pokemon. I'm cool with that, but when it comes to Gar, I mean, when it comes to tight ends, I'm I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Tell me down below your thoughts, opinions, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.